The New York Congresswoman, controversial Congresswoman, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, defending Biden's catastrophic Afghanistan troop withdrawal, calling it courageous. Yes, a socialist considers it courageous to leave our people behind. That should tell you something. Congresswoman tweeting out that those criticizing Biden only seek to profit off of war. Joining me now to weigh in is Gold Star Mom and author of The World Changer, A Mother's Story, Karen Vaughn. Uh, Ms. Vaughn, welcome to The Chris Salcedo Show. I'm glad to have you here. As a Gold Star mother, would you consider Biden's dishonorable exit from Afghanistan, quote, courageous? I can tell you that, you know, I'm in contact with a lot of Gold Star mothers across this country, as well as Gold Star fathers, siblings, wives, children. And there is nothing courageous about this. We are all literally physically sick. I, I actually am having a hard time functioning during the day, as are my sisters in this, because... It has been the most repulsive uh, black mark, I believe, in American military history. The, the images that we're seeing of the Taliban driving our U.S. equipment, flying the U.S. helicopters with the Taliban flag draped across them, those same helicopters that delivered our sons and daughters to the site where they would fight the Taliban, it is the most repulsive thing I've witnessed in my lifetime. Now, Biden has a long history of doing repulsive and rather idiotic things. Your son, Aaron Carson Vaughn, was a member of SEAL Team 6, tragically killed in Afghanistan in 2011. Tell us why you think the then Vice President Joe Biden is to blame for that. Well, you know, it's, it, it's really clear. We killed uh, Osama bin Laden on May 1st of that year. And Aaron, I mean, Aaron called his dad that night and he said, Dad, we got him. And you know, we he could he was using very cryptic language and wouldn't say the name, but we finally figured it out. And as a family, started celebrating, got that news before the news stations got it, and uh, you know, we're just celebrating that incredible victory. And you know, we Obama came on the news the next day, came on television and said, you know, a team of American warfighters, or I can't remember the exact language he used, but he did not identify the Navy SEALs. Well, rumors began to leak that it was the Navy SEALs, but they were just rumors. They were, you know, unofficial sources. And then on Monday night, Joe Biden is speaking to a group of people and says that it was SEALs SEALs that got the that got bin Laden. And my son called me the very next day and said, Mom, I need you to wipe your social media clean. I mean, get every reference of me or any of my buddies off of it. And I said, of course, son, what's going on? I had never heard him sound that concerned. And he said, Mom, there's chatter and your life is in danger because of what Joe Biden had done. Our, my, my wife's life is in danger. My children's life is in danger. The teams began to lose their minds over what Joe Biden did. And it was, it was very difficult. Just 93 days later, Aaron was dead in the largest loss of life in Naval Special Warfare history, a retaliatory attack on Navy SEALs for what they did on May 1st, 2011. And so, yeah, my history goes way back with Joe Biden. My daughter actually has a tattoo that says loose, li loose lips sink ships. The unsinkable ships died because of Joe Biden. Good grief. Uh, reports are coming in from all over the country. Our, our service members, they don't trust Biden, nor do they trust his yes men that he put in charge of the U.S. military. Do you have confidence in Secretary Austin and Mr. White Rage himself, General Milley? Yeah, I have none. And, you know, they're saying the most ludicrous things. I am a mom sitting at home. I have no military experience. And I'm listening to these leaders tell us how they did things right, what they did. And, you know, way back in July, my husband and I were scratching our heads saying, why in God's name did we give up Begram Air Base? That was a lily pad that we could have worked from. From We could see that coming. We could see this disaster coming. How could these military leaders who have been in this war for 20 years, the longest war in America's history, not see that coming, not see exactly what happened coming? And then to leave Americans behind, uh, it's gut-wrenching. It is literally... Like I said before, I don't know a better way to say it. We are physically sick over this. We could have done. We could have planned a better strategy for leaving Afghanistan than the, than these military leaders did. And I just want to say yeah. one more thing. You know, General General McKenzie, and I've heard other military leaders say this, but McKenzie in particular. If you're listening tonight, I want you to realize how ridiculous it is when you say no one took the loss of those 13 men harder than me. Let me tell you something, sir. You will not be sitting at your Thanksgiving table this year without your son or daughter there with an empty chair where a life 
that used to fill your world used to sit, you will, you will not take this harder than the families who lost these loved ones. So please, military leaders, for the love of God, stop saying you understand. You took it hard, just like Biden saying, saying to that mother, I understand because I lost my son. No, you don't understand. I couldn't have said that I understood what my husband was experiencing after our son died, even though we'd been married at that time for, for 29, 30 years. I couldn't have understood it because every loss is so individual and so different. And one other thing that Biden did that was so insulting is to continuously talk about his loss. Anybody who's had a tragic loss like that knows that when the next person suffers that kind of loss, buddy, you just shut up and listen. They just need to be heard. They need no. to talk about their no. loss right then, not yours. Wow. Karen Vaughn, uh, thank you for your eloquent words, number one. Number two, my thoughts and prayers are with you and your family tonight, and thank you for being here on The Salcedo Show. Uh, my friends, Joe Biden is an idiot who has surrounded himself with a bunch of idiots. Hi, Emma Reckenberg here. If you like this video, there's a whole lot more to see on Newsmax TV. You can watch for free right here on our YouTube live stream and be the first one here each time our experts break down real news. Just hit that subscribe button, ring the bell icon, and stay with us on America's fastest growing cable news channel, Newsmax TV.